Double bonded though. Hey. Hey, what's going on everybody of YouTube? Kennedy Deal is here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a double bonded t-shirt. Now you guys are probably wondering like, what's a double bonded t-shirt? I've never seen that before. So here is an example of a double bonded t-shirt. It's just your regular t-shirt up top and then you got your fabric bonded in the middle and then under that fabric you have another fabric that's bonded onto that and that's basically what a double bonded t-shirt is. I'm actually wearing one right now that I made from the tutorial. It's just black up top, a gold lining in the middle, and then like bandana print on the bottom. Putting that all aside, let's get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of everything you're gonna need for this tutorial. Starting off with the tools, you're just gonna need your standard cutting tools and some pins. For the materials, you're gonna just need the t-shirt you wanna use. I suggest the size up and the two fabrics that you want to bond together onto the shirt. And that's everything you need for the tutorial. First thing you want to do is grab your t-shirt and lay it nice and flat. Make sure to also stretch out your t-shirt. Next you want to grab your pair of scissors and just start cutting along the sides. You want to do this for the right and left side. Now the place that you want to end at or end cutting is one inch away from the armpit area. This is because you don't want to cut too far off into the abyss of the armpit. So don't do that. And then you want to turn the t-shirt over to do the other side. I only turn it over because I'm a righty and most righties will have problems doing the left side. So if you're a lefty, you just do the opposite of what I did. And you can lift up the t-shirt to make sure that both sides are an equal cut length. There's a bunch of different ways you can cut it. Here's some designs you guys can follow. You guys don't necessarily need to follow the same cut that I do because you guys can just be creative with this, make some curved lines, or you can do some diagonals or some other way. Now, I'm only gonna be doing the front side of the t-shirt. If you wanna go ahead and do both the back and the front side, you have to actually cut the front and the back side, not just the front like how I do it. So just putting that out there for you guys. But once you're done with your cut, it should look something like this. Now you wanna grab the fabric that you wanna use as the mid strip and grab the mid strip template as well. And then you wanna cut a one inch allowance around the mid strip template. All this extra space gives us room just in case we mess up or anything like that. Next, you wanna repeat the same process for the bottom strip. Again, you want to place it right over the fabric that you want to use and then you want to cut out a one inch allowance from the actual template itself. The next step is totally optional. I like the U shaped on the bottom of a T so I'm going to be putting a U cut on the bottom of the bottom piece. But once you're done cutting both pieces, you want to go back to your t-shirt and lay it right on top of it just to make sure that the pieces that you cut out are a good width and length. If your pieces aren't big enough, you gotta go back and redo the cutting. Next, we're gonna be pinning the mid strip to the t-shirt. So grab the fabric that you cut out for a mid strip and then you wanna flip it right over onto the t-shirt. Keep in mind that the t-shirt is still right side up. It's not inside out or anything like that. After you flipped it over, like how it was shown in the video, you wanna go grab your pins and you wanna start pinning the fabric onto the t-shirt. Now take your time on this and make sure as you go to stretch it because if you don't stretch it properly, when you go and sew the pieces together or the, the mid strip to the t-shirt, it's gonna end up with some bulges and you don't want bulges on your t-shirt, especially if you're working with the same material I do. So make sure to always space it and take your time with your pinning because pinning is everything. But once you're done with all your pinning, this is what it should look like when you pull the fabric forward and it should be nice and flat. If there's any bulges, go back and repin that area. Now that you've got the two pieces pinned together, you want to take it to your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch and the length is there on the top right of the screen. Take your time on this and end with a back stitch. Remember to cut any loose thread that you may have left behind. And also make sure to pull on the fabric to make sure the two pieces are nicely bonded together. Now you just want to repeat the same process that you did with the mid strip with the bottom strip as well. Now you want to put it face up so on the right side and then flip it over onto its back side so it lines up with the mid strip. Again you want to go ahead and pin the bottom strip to the mid strip. Again like I say 5 million trillion times in the video take your time. 
um, again here we go with the sewing you gotta do your zigzag stitch 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter in length and then again 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 you gotta pull on the fabric make sure there's no holes hey but that pro pulling though after sewing on both pieces you want to just take your t-shirt and turn it inside out after you turn it inside out you want to flip it onto its back side next we're gonna be sewing the sides together with pins so go grab your pins and start pinning these sides down make sure that they line up edge to edge now if you see any excess fabric that's starting to appear that's fine because we can just cut that off later because we're going to be sewing before the excess fabric because that's so basically where the pins are is where we're going to be sewing now if you want to add some slits onto the side of your t-shirt make some markings on the bottom there so it reminds you where to stop after you're done with all the pinning take it to your sewing machine and again do a zigzag stitch with a stitch length of 0.5 to 1 millimeter down both sides. If you aren't going to do the slit, this zigzag stitch all the way to the end and you don't need to do a back stitch. Now, if you're going to put a slit at the bottom of your t-shirt, do a back stitch in that marked area that I indicated earlier. Here's a quick run through of me doing the other side. So the left side in my case, again, you wanna do a zigzag stitch and a 0.5 to 1 millimeter stitch length. And then you want to end it with the back stitch. If you have a slit, if you don't have a slit, just go all the way down. Like how I mentioned earlier, if you have any excess fabric, just grab your pair of scissors and just cut that right off. Next, we're just gonna hem all the raw edges. So I'm just gonna be hemming the slits because we have slits now. If you don't have slits, you don't need to do what I'm doing right now. All you need to do is hem the bottom of the front side, which you guys will see in a couple seconds. But here's me hemming the front side remember that the t-shirt is still inside out so the the area that i'm folding into is the inside of the t-shirt now for everyone that didn't do the slits this is me hemming the bottom basically what you want to do is you want to fold it in about one centimeter one millimeter whatever length you would want to put and then you want to repeat this all the way along the bottom part of the t-shirt or the front side of the t-shirt Remember to take your time on this and evenly distribute the pinning. Once you're done, your pinning should look something like this. If you have any strange bulges, go ahead and redo the pinning because you don't want to have a bulge, especially at the bottom of your t-shirt. The last thing we need to do is just sew down the hemmed areas that we pinned down. So take your time on this. This time around, I'm not using a zigzag stitch. You can just use a straight stitch for this because it's not necessary to do a zigzag stitch. And plus with a zigzag stitch, it will look bulky. So I don't want that look on the bottom of my t-shirt. Once you're done with all the stitching and quality control, you can throw on your new bonded tee. Now that's the tutorial guys. Let me know what you guys think about the t-shirt combination. Does this combination beat the Hawaiian black white combination? Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and if you like the video, be sure to also give it a like. I hope to see you guys soon and I'll see you later. Peace, boy!